That dungeon over there mayhaps contains a shrine piece. Oop, poisonous seaweed blocks your path. Your quest is waylaid until you can find a way past it. Ah, you there! Help me advance science. Help me advance science. I see your path is blocked by poisonous seaweed. Usually not a problem if you can just swim over it. Good thing I am the greatest alchemist alive. Or at least the greatest in my family. The solution is my sea kelp solution. It will melt them away. Instead of melting, the seaweed turns to stone! It transformed into stone. Blast and fiddlesticks! The solution is not ready. I need the essence of pure snot. Go to the nearby cave and retrieve it for me. You see before you an upturned bridge. What's it doing like that? Could be useful if you whack it over. Yes, deep within that cave, you should find the essence of pure snot. Fight your way through! Is this not what you needed? 
Perfection itself? With this, I can complete the solution? Now, use this improved sea kelp solution on the seaweed blocking your way. I am the greatest alchemist alive. The seaweed melts away, clearing the path. If you see any of my brothers, give them a helping hand, would you? They need it. <laughs> And so the idiots continued their long, pointless quest, traipsing through the wasteland they made, crushing priceless coral reefs under their boots. The exposed seabed reveals its hidden treasures to you. There was a lot of junk and gunk in the ocean. A lot of flotsam. Flotsam? Are you sure it's not jetsam? Flotsam is stuff that fell off. Jetsam is stuff that got thrown off. I don't even have a snappy comeback. That's just interesting. Sometimes learning can be fun! Do you see the destruction she leaves in her wake? A wasteland of broken toys, wondering why their creator has forsaken them. But I guess it's all just set dressing to you, Fade Maker. You keep doing you. If only you could ask all the fish you just vaporize if they feel brought together by fate. He's not just any pirate. He's a skeleton pirate! Skeleton, kill him! No, 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 no. Hey, hey, he is not a bad oak. He's a good boy. He's a special boy. I'll be the judge of that. Avast! I require a passage through this gate. Aye. Ye be wanting to just waltz right through the gates of the briny shell, are ye? Will ye be speaking to Bones Threewood, cursed protector of the Southern Gate, and I say... Sure. Ah, how suspiciously uncomplicated. Of course it'll do ye no good. The Nerpen Gate is guarded by a vengeful, murderous, gorgeous buccaneer known as Chartreuse Lachance. He'll never let you through, unless... Would you be willing to help me on a quest? Ho <laughs> pirate quest! It's a pirate quest! Valentine, do you want to go on the pirate quest? Oh, I really, really do! Ha-ha! <laughs> Welcome to the crew! But there'll be no pirate quest without Polly, me faithful bird Munculus. A terrible fate befell her, and we be needing to put her pieces back together. Beware, crew. The sea wargs are restless since the ocean were obliterated. You don't want to run afoul of Mobley Dick, writer of crews, scourge of salt and sand. Friendly advice. That pirate you're throwing in with doesn't yeah. have a loyal bone in his We make quite the dead pair, don't we? Arrow Storm!
Navigational flappers keeps Polly high in the air to spot sails on what <sighs> used to be the horizon. Now crack some chitin. We need that squawker. Shot land. Archers assault. in Beacon Peak, all right. She'll be squawking in no time. She'll be nearly complete. All that's left is her polymagical core. She'll be powered by soul energy. What the devil was that? As I fear, tis boldly Dick, aforementioned biter of crews, scourge of salt and sand. Be careful. this bird monculus to us. Polly's me navigator. If we're to take on La Chance and open the Nerpin gate, we needs the help of me former crew. Now sniff them out, Polly. Sniff them out, sniff them out. Chartreuse La Chance ain't just a mighty pirate. He's unkillable. There's a rare curse upon his crew. Tis known as plot armor. I know it well, for it be the same curse I bear. We'll be needing more than guns and ships to defeat him. This away! This away! Sounds like frowns of our agents. Bruce Man! He say it tastes like poo. Aye, that be me first mate and his fellows. They'll never listen to you if you don't start a fight with them first. Challenge him to a duel. What if we tried to kiss him? Wouldn't that be wrong? Ha! Hear that, lads? The hero wants to 
Full of strictly non alcoholic brew. Amscray. Okay, so how do we get this guy to Our fight? Easy. Pirate Rule 27B. Spill Brawl must be avenged. Break his mug. You've run afoul of Pirate Rule 27B. Now that's a serious breach of decorum. You trying to pick a point with this hailer? That is precisely what I am trying to do. Why should I? I bet you fight like a dairy farmer. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, why are we gasping? Because you've just been challenged to a duel of disses. It's the pirate way. Now we gotta hit him with the cutness, meanest, wake up in a cold sweat 20 years later as comeback, or we lose the duel. We're gonna need options. Your mother should have thrown you away and kept the stork. No one talks about Deborah first mate like that! Jorgen kill all! This night sting! So ends their final part. Crew and help us take down Chartreuse Lachance. Huzzah! Only a few crew left to find, and I know just where they'll be. Polly, chart a course for Plunderport. Plunderport! Plunderport! Ah! Answering to no one, searching for fortune and infamy. Isn't that exactly what we do, just in space? Space pirates. <sighs> Whoa. I think we lost them. Golden, baby! us new recruits. Come sail the open air with 
the mighty pirate Lachance in the new airship Windbreaker. All men wanted! I am already bound to Bones Threewood's crew. Bones Threewood? It's thanks to him me and Kavi here look like this. We won't be joining ye. The chances are up to now, so ye'd best be on your way. Kavi, back to the song. Oh, what will we do They've with the They've thrown in with the chance? You can see, dogs. Crew, go to the new Another foe felled by the fungus. D. If a balloon be popped, the popper must be dropped. Oh, look at you, really. Eh, who cares about some stupid toy balloons? Tis a dire day when the pirate rules be ignored. We need to be getting their attention for real. Pop the Windbreaker's balloon. Down to the dry depths with ye. They blew up a chance of ship. My best breaches were on there. No recruits. Show these mean elbowed timber shiverers what your pegs are made of. Nor he cheap. Electric death! Try Cavi! Let's room me as the Cavi, stay back! I'll teach these godless cobble kissers a lesson! It's green versus green! Blast it all! Gabby! Death fall! Enough, you pucks picking chest chiseler! Before someone gets really hurt, we'll join back up with Three Woods crew. <laughs> I have me crew back! Now for our ship! She be the finest wooden woman to ever ride the buttery sea! Polly! Find us the wreck of the Marley Maiden! Find the maiden! Find the maiden! Ah! We've gotten to know each other pretty well in the last few minutes. So here be the tale of woe that brought me down to the depths of what used to be the ocean. Hell yes. Pirate backstory. Great, I'm just gonna tune out for a minute. I was the fiercest pirate captain on the buttery seas. I had a fine ship, a loyal crew, and true love. But I lost it all. Wait, <laughs> that's it? You didn't even explain the curse. Oh, so me pirate backstory be insufficient for ye. Never mind then, you scurvy cur. Ha! See? She's got nothing. She always forgets to drop character voice when she's scrambling for a decent motivation.
back together. Plank and all. Blood free wood. How dare you show your lion face around here? My Charlie, I... You don't get to call me that anymore. No matter. While you've been away, I've built a new crew. Loyal. Not that your salty heart knows the meaning of the word. The Marley Maiden's still mine, Charlie. Crew, prepare to board. Kill those scallywags. <laughs> Use the bench and board the Maiden. Good plundering crew, throw her up on the mast and see her dance in the wind. soul as much as any man, and I've been practicing my decromancy. Time to get these wooden bones dancing again. Crew, a tune if you will. uttered a different name. Bloods, Threewood. What does that mean to you? He deserved the whole truth. And there's only one way to properly deliver pirate backstory. A tunnel full of music and elaborately staged vignettes. Places, everyone! <laughs> was a love that put to sea and the name of the man is known to me the curse took hold my bow said no blow me bony boys blow he drew the skeleton man his song will wool her across the sands one day when our penance is done we'll take our chance and go Together we stormed o'er many a shore, and out to the other we both swore. Why, Charlie was my true one more. Blow me, bony boys, blow. He 
true the skeleton man His song the wool heard across the sands One day when our penance is done We'll take our chance and go So many memories of foes slain and in my fears of losing him Dealt with the devil and paid in sin We gained our years but lost our skin Blow me, bony boys, blow Oh yeah, I got him with the old live forever grip. Works all the time. No shortage of wayward souls clinging to the scraps of fading memories. Jeez, listen to me, I sound like her. Charlie couldn't forgive me. He and his men sunk the Marley Maiden, scattered me crew, and consigned me to oblivion. There's the truth. It was my fault. So it falls on me, Bony's shoulders, to make things right. Hey, true, the skeleton man is on the The Tempest Scorn be not far. Follow Polly, crew. We're off to set things right. seems insurmountable, but a hero must keep moving forward. This be it, crew! Beyond ah! that wall lies the Tempest Scorn! Let's batten down some hatches and shiver some timbers! Fire! I think you 
words to discuss. You're a stubborn sea dog, and I love that about you. Now hear me out. Chartreuse la chance. I be... sorry. I should have asked you before I cursed us all to undeath. I was so afraid of losing ye that I wasn't thinking straight. You've never thought straight a moment in your life, or a life. But, thank you. I can't lift this curse of ours, but I can spend the rest of our deaths making it up to ye. All I need is a la chance. Damn your pirate wiles, Three Wood. Me heart be always yours. I accept. Sorry, crew. No room for the living on this vessel. But I reckon this won't be the last we see of each other. After all, you're the fate maker, and fate brings us together. You'll find the key to the Nerpen Gate in my hidden booty room. You're welcome to plunder it. I found all the treasure I need. Take care of Polly, crew! Come on! True love saves the day, la de blah. You really bought into this fate maker crap, haven't you? Well, her little creed is a lie, and she knows it. We all end up alone in the dark. Hey, Fred, we're getting all the loot. Aren't you glad we did the pirate quest? Their love was stronger than death, and nothing could keep them apart. Are you crying over fictional characters? I didn't know that was possible on, like, several levels. You tell anyone and I'm putting engine cooler than your breakfast cereal. Brett, you may literally have a cold metal shell, but somewhere deep inside you there's a soft center. You're like an emotional soup can without a label. Who knows what kind of gooey goodness is in there? Well, that fixed me. I'm back to hating people. The gate is... You have made it through the uppermost level of the sea floor, but now, the darkest abyss lies ahead of you. Ooh, you have traveled far, earning yourself a shortcut back to the previous area. Dedicated to Herotus Huntress, the patron god of critical hits. <laughs> <laughs> 